Good morning, everyone. I'm Nikki Stansdale. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. Today's a tribute day. I, I did blue suede shoes to mm -hmm. tribute um, Elvis. And today I did Snooky Hair in honor of the Jersey Shore premiere. Tonight, season five begins again. All the madness uh -oh. continues. Yeah, but it, it's going to be a, another mess of a season, I'm sure. But, you know, Probably. guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a guilty pleasure. Not one of my guilty pleasures, I know. but definitely a guilty pleasure. Your guilty pleasures seem more productive than mine. I don't know about that. There's some <laughs> out there that are kind of weird. Twilight, I mean, that's kind of a... That's a good one, yeah, though. It's a good it's one. And, and it's not as embarrassing. Mine's a little no. embarrassing. And clearly I'm admitting it to the world, so it can't be that embarrassing. Hey, and the ratings it gets, there's a lot of people who have that as a guilty pleasure. So. Yeah. Well, you know, I spent a lot of my summers on the Jersey Shore, so I know, you know, it's kind of familiar to me, although fortunately I didn't hang out with a lot of people who are represented in that particular show. Uh, things have changed a little bit with the world Do since I was a kid. Do you think that misrepresents Definitely. your area that you're from? Yeah, I mean, I think what happens is, and it's like New Mexico, too, I think you get stereotyped. There's a niche. Mm -hmm. People associate a certain city or a certain state with a certain stereotype of personality. And things like Sopranos and Jersey Housewives and Jersey Licious and all, all these Jersey Shores represent Jerseys, Jersey people as people who don't speak the language articulately or people who curse a lot or people who are over the top. Yes, I will say a lot of us are a little dramatic. <laughs> no. But, but, but aside from that, a lot of that is really not true. A lot of very smart, articulate, uh, educated people across the state of New Jersey. Well, I'm glad you're setting a good example there. Thank you. Although the <laughs> hair is still big. Can't right. help that much. Now, the thing that's really special is that, you know, although Christmas is technically over, Christmas mm -hmm. is still continuing for one Albuquerque family. That's right. A father who is an Air Force tech had been stationed in the Middle East for six months, and his children didn't think they would get to see him again until the end of the month. But guess what? Sergeant Brian McCollum came home early and decided to surprise his four kids. Mom Mom wrapped him up in a box Aww. and told the kids they had one last present to open. Wishing you every little joy of the season, Mom and Dad. Oh, ah! can we open it? Yes, open it. Bradley, go. Bradley, watch this. Okay. This is the best part. What is oh it? Gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I love it. Look at the happy children. Oh my gosh, what a moment. And you know what, it goes to show you that, you know, money can't buy you love. You could buy the most expensive mm -hmm. gift in the world. Nothing could take the place of the love for a family. That is so true. Uh, and you know, that was probably their, that has to be their favorite gift. Oh, for sure. Oh, I got the holiday. chills. I love it. Yeah. And today the whole family is heading back to California, which is so nice where McCollum is stationed. And then another deployment. But what a great, great holiday for them and a great start to the new year. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I love that story. Okay, and a lot of, a lot of interesting stories uh, around town today. So let's check in with KRQE News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez for today's headlines. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning to you at home. Top in your morning news headlines this morning, the University of New Mexico Board of Regents has hired the school's new president. In a unanimous vote yesterday, leaders hired Robert G. Frank. Frank is provost at Kent State University, but no stranger to UNM. He earned his bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees from the University of New Mexico. The 59-year-old will make $355,000 a year when he starts as the new president. Xcel Energy is trying to collect thousands of dollars from its customers in southeastern New Mexico. Listen to this. The utility says it's owed that money after the company claims it underbilled Carlsbad Electric customers for several years. According to newspaper reports, however, the New Mexico Public Regulation Commission is only allowing the company to go back three years to recoup its losses. All right, we told you about this one. Your latte already costs more, and now your bacon and eggs may be costing more as well. Denny says it's considering raising prices this year. A spokeswoman for the restaurant chain would not say when or by how much, but the announcement comes a day after. Starbucks said it was increasing prices on some of its beverages. Both companies point to the cost of rising ingredients or the, the, the fact that the ingredients are going up in cost and one of the reasons uh, for the price hikes. All right, good news. If you tend to procrastinate during tax time like I do, you now have more tax, more time rather, to file your federal income taxes this year. Yesterday, the Internal Revenue Service announced it's pushing back the deadline from April 15th to April 17th. The reason? April 15th falls on a Sunday, and the following day is Emancipation Day, a holiday observed in the District of Columbia. Taxpayers requesting an extension will have until October 15th to file. If you haven't or if you like to travel by air, new rules kick in this year aimed to protect you from any hidden fees when you purchase your ticket. 
For 25 years, airlines have listed the government-imposed fees separate from the advertised price. That's why so often when you notice that the price of your airfare always seems to jump after you click buy. Always hated that. But on January 26th, airlines and travel sites must advertise the full price of a ticket up front. That means fees included. Another new rule, if you buy a non-refundable ticket, you can hold that ticket that reservation for 24 hours without having to pay for it that way you can think twice about whether or not you really want to buy the ticket and that wraps it up for your morning headlines be sure to catch matt morrow kristen van dyke and myself every weekday morning from 5 to 7 a.m on krqe news 13 ladies sending it back to you thank you elizabeth i, I like the fact that they're doing that extension it takes so much time yeah. and when that new year starts and you have to start going through receipts and everything mm -hmm. you want to claim it's a daunting task it is but it's nice when you get some money back I absolutely think. yeah you know we complain all the time <laughs> about how we were just saying how much taxes come out of our checks but if it means we'll get a little reimbursement not so bad. Yeah. It's like saved money, which is nice. Now, here's another great story. You know, we've been talking so much, Chris and I, this week about all the celebrity breakups and all the problems with the Hollywood couples. Right. Well, it looks like absence does make the heart grow fonder for Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. That's right. Us Weekly magazine is reporting that after a brief three month split, the pair decided to get married. Yay! Timberlake mm -hmm. apparently popped the question in late December while the two were vacationing in the mountains of Jackson, Wyoming. Insiders tell the magazine the six time Grammy winner has never been happier and knew it was the right time to propose. He's so talented. I have to yeah. tell you, when he was in sync, I always liked him, but now I just have a new respect for him with his acting and his Saturday Night Live appearances. S SNL. Rain on down just... the lake of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of those. <laughs> I, love the, I love the plastic surgery though. one. That's oh, probably I can't. my favorite one. <laughs> you know, speaking of plastic surgery, I was telling our producer before, I was listening to 97.3 this morning. They, I, don't, I don't know where this stat comes from, so don't necessarily quote me on this, but I did hear this on the radio. Over 50% of adult American women have all had some kind of cosmetic enhancement, injection, or reduction. So wow. whether it be, yeah, whether whatever it is, over 50%. That's a lot. Isn't that crazy? That's a, that's a lot of people. But yeah. And you know what today we're going to be talking about, which is really cool, bare medical spa? Yes. How you you can get these procedures done without actually having, having surgery, surgery. Exactly. Good yeah. stuff. I just I had to mention that because that's a crazy yeah. thing. Now, okay, so uh, here's another interesting thing. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Mark Anthony now is dating a 24-year-old Venezuelan model. Of course. Anthony, Ooh. who is 43, by the way, is showing Shannon De Lima off Ooh. in this cozy Facebook picture, <laughs> which is accompanied by the caption, Gracias. Yeah. Uh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias, beautiful model, 24-year-old. He's, oh my God, she's gorgeous. She is. She's kind of like Angelina Jolie-ish, I think. She's, Maybe it was the lips. Yeah, she's, she's pretty. pretty. But, you know, J-Lo, th there's like a little back and forth going on here, a little battle of the young ones. I don't know. Now, if you ever wondered if the Kardashian girls were plastic, speaking of plastic, wonder no more. But the plastic that we're referring to is the Barbie doll kind. Pretty cool, huh? Us Magazine <laughs> reports that Kim, Courtney, and Khloe Kardashian are now to be, quote, immortalized as Barbie's pals in an upcoming limited edition doll line and that the dolls will reflect the girls' measurements. Interesting. And may even come in Kardashian-designed <laughs> outfits. Wow. What do you think about that? Hey, I like my blondie Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy to see brunette Barbies because yeah, I never had cool. them. It is but neat. You know, it's, you know, they have more voluptuous figures. Yeah. I think that's a really good thing. That I mean, is. I really do remember when you're growing up and you're you're getting older and you look at Barbie mm -hmm. and you think, that's what I'm supposed to look like when I right. grow up. You exactly. really do. And it's just unrealistic. Exactly. It paints like, a your very body is never picture. Nobody's body without, like, enhancement, really. Few. Yeah. Look like that. When nobody's proportioned <laughs> quite no. that way. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. And it'll be interesting to see if they do the measurements different for each girl. You know, if Kim's <laughs> booty cool. is a little bigger and Chloe's a yes. little taller. And That's interesting. Fun. It's fun. Now, if you're a movie buff, save your money because there are a lot of new movies that are hitting the big screen this year. Fox's Adam Housley has a preview of some of the most anticipated films of 2012. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. The Hollywood studios are hoping big name sequels and high profile adaptations will help fill movie theaters in 2012. Welcome. 
welcome. The big screen version of The Hunger Games hits theaters on March 23rd. Open your eyes. A couple of blockbusters are being converted as the second highest grossing movie of all time, Titanic, and Disney's Beauty and the Beast will be released this time in 3D. We get ready. There's no shortage of superheroes fighting for box office gold as the Avengers unite with some well-known names for an epic showdown. Peter. The Amazing Spider-Man retells the origins of Peter Parker, normal teen turned web-slinging hero, and the Dark Knight Rises brings Batman back to save Gotham City and fight Catwoman. Our mission is to monitor extraterrestrial activity on Earth. Traveling back in time to find a younger Agent K, Will Smith returns in Men in Black 3, and Kate Beckinsale is ready to take on mortals in Underworld Awakening. I could have put you in the deepest, darkest, Hole. Sly and his action-packed co-stars return in The Expendables 2, and Liam Neeson wreaks more havoc in Taken 2. Getting combat ready, there's G.I. Joe Retaliation, or hop on Battleship for a high seas test of skills, and if that doesn't take care of your action needs, Nicolas Cage returns in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Snow White and the Huntsman is another take on the classic fable starring Kristen Stewart and Charlize Theron. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen is back. This time he transforms into the dictator. Let them be crushed. Other high profile films to watch out for include John Carter, Denzel Washington in Safe House, Haywire, Dwayne Johnson in Journey to the Mysterious Island, a big screen version of 21 Jump Street, and an American reunion. As long as we both shall live. The very last installment of the Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2, takes its last bite, and expect a large and loyal following to venture back to pre-Lord of the Rings time in The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. I cannot guarantee his safety. In Hollywood, Adam Housley, Fox News. There's your Twilight. There's so many <laughs> bug movies out these uh, I days. Know. I mean, even the last one we were just talking about, um, Lord of the Rings, yeah. that's a book, too. I mean, everything. I know. I, I think they've just, Hollywood, they've just lost, they've run out of ideas or of something. creativity. Because they're either remaking another Jump movie Street. or they're taking books. And <laughs> I know. Them. But it is going to be a good year at the <laughs> movies, I think. And in just a couple weeks, Golden Globe Awards, and then just a few weeks after that, the Oscars. And of course, we'll keep you up to date with all the nominations and the winners, and maybe even hopefully get some un interviews under our belt for that, too. Yeah. So fun. lots of fun. Now, if we want to go to the movies this weekend, is it a good movie to be it's indoors or outdoors? Sunday would probably be a good okay. head to the movies day because mm. it's going to be cooler. And we're going to be watching another storm system that's heading our way.